Hoka came to be in a moment of insight on a mountaintop. The founder set out to solve a simple problem, to improve the experience of running down that mountain. They succeeded, and the ultramarathon world rejoiced. What they didn't expect was that they'd solve a universal running problem. It's not just running 50 miles downhill that is hard. All running is hard. What was it like before the creation of Hoka? I think it's something we share. We both like to go fast and have sensations and use technology. We, we could not understand why when we'd get to the top of the mountain, the fun would stop. It's, it's something we hadn't been used to and all of the other toys we were using would provide amazing thrill and adrenaline through the downhills. But also when you look at the sport of running, there's obviously some pain involved that people are not liking to. When you have 20-year-old athletes, as the people that are here, that have to stop for one year competing because they are injured, there's a problem. When you have people that are not running, what they would like to, uh, because it's uncomfortable, because they don't like it, there is a problem. So, there was something to solve here. In the spring of 2009, you guys have shared with us that that's when the spark happened. That was the first real magic moment. Would you guys take a moment to describe that? We find a course, probably as long as a GS slalom run, downhill, we start timing ourselves. And the first time I put on the shoes, the first run I did compared to some Salomon, some Brooks that I had, I was about five seconds faster on a 25 seconds course downhill not even touching the midsoles, not even trying to shape it and reduce it. And we decided that it was time to go, that it was time to go to market. The end of 2009 and the beginning of 2010, we won the three toughest races, either men or women, on, the, on three continents, which were Asia, Europe, and US, and we were not even aware of it. Carl tries, you, you all know Carl Melzer. He had like a five or six years contract with La Sportiva. He sent money back to his sponsor to be able to run in Hocas. Flying is, is about weightlessness. Flying is about a uh, sensation of freedom that you have. And flying is the usual sense, let's say, that people are doing when you are winning a race and getting there. Or even if you are not, if you are not winning a race, I mean, you have just you're just finishing. One of the reasons why Hoka applies to all categories of runners is that when you solve a problem for either adventure racing or ultra running, you solve it for many people. You become everybody through this journey. It's a victory, it's the adrenaline, it's the speed. But these values have always been extremely important for us.